Let's 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 turn this turn the ship around. Okay, now we're not no no more no more Mr. Nice Guy. No C6 stuff. No no free free 15 moves with White. Okay, Bishop B3 will play C6 B5 of course. Okay, B5. Um. I guess I'll just play a6 in castles, why not? This should be 7. I can always take with a pawn. Or even cb5, maybe. Don't know if it's correct. Um, let's go knight e8. If e6 I just take, so I've got knight c7 here to counter knight g5. I also maybe can play f5 too. Okay, takes. Now, because he played e5, I don't actually know if I should take the a or the c pawn. I think I'm going to take with the c pawn, actually. Just because I figure it makes sense to open the diagonal. He plays knight e4. Knight c7. I've got knight c6. Maybe I should have played knight c6 right away, actually. Why didn't I do that? Because now I gave him some bishop f4. Or bishop g5. Yeah, this was stupid. Wow, this is ridiculously stupid of me. I should have just played knight c6 first instead of knight c7. Okay, so now we're gonna have problems. We'll see if I can save this somehow. But I basically should have had this position with a knight on c6 and not having to play f6. Okay, this is nice. I'm happy to see queen d2, because I thought he should have had something like c3 or c4 and I could have been in real trouble, so I'm happy to see that he's slow playing it. Let's go knight e7. Knight f5, knight e5. Okay, now I play c4, but I think in this case it's not quite the same thing. Because now I have my knight on e7, it's not on b8 even, so my knight's good. Whoa, he can get away with this? Takes and d5, wow, rook b8? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Zebon, for the five months, thank you. Can he really get away with this if I take and play knight c6? Because d5 is a huge threat here. Oh, but he's got rook... Ah, he's got rook e6. He got lucky. He got lucky. He was in real trouble there, I think. Yeah, because... Or rook e1, even. This is just awful. Um, but we can still try to, oh, but I just, uh, just hung upon. Okay, now we're just going to try to make a draw here, just salvage it if we can. Okay, queen d5 makes me happy because I can at least, put, at least put pressure on the pawn. Like bishop c7, I've got rook d5. And b4, I have a4, I think. Oh, he's got this one, though. Ah. And that's why you don't play like this. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll, let's see. What is this? Okay, but this is just a draw. He cares more about more about not getting adopted than he does about uh It's interesting. Or actually, this might not be so easy. Let's see. Check. I think this still should be a draw, but I'm not not 100% sure. Here we go, King D8, of course. Um, King C8. I mean. He can obviously go rook c6, but then king e7, and this, this has to be a draw again. 
Or actually, maybe it's not. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Maybe it's not, actually. Let's take. No, it's not a draw. Check. Let's take. Oh. Ridiculous. Rook B1 and Rook B1 and takes are just much, much better. So stupid. Ridiculous. R absolutely ridiculous. Let's play H3 and Knight H4. Oh, what am I doing? He just moves to Knight. Ugh. Uh I'll leave Bishop G four too. Yeah. Okay, takes we'll just take with the pawn, play F four E five of course. If knight F six I think I just play H six followed by E five or even knight D two right away. E five um I guess knight c3, knight d5 makes sense here. Let's go knight d5, takes just bishop f4. I'm gonna play h6 at some point, obviously. Got a great knight, his knights are pretty bad here. Goes knight f6, okay, now I think I probably should play h6. Just to force him to do something here on the king side. Oh, title Tuesday in four days? Hmm. I didn't actually realize there's a title to say, okay, we'll take, obviously. I'm playing 960, oh, I'm playing 960 literally at the same time, literally, right? Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, that is a problem, yeah. Yeah, that's true. No arena today? There's surely no arena kings, is there? Is there an arena kings? No, there's no arena kings today, is there? No, there's no arena kings. You guys are insane. Um, okay, so I can take, but even, I mean, okay, let's think for a second. Knight of six and queen g4. This is obviously winning for me. I just need to take a second, take a deep breath and figure out why. Knight of six and queen h5 looks pretty attractive, but I think I'll just play c3. Okay, let's just take. And bishop f4 next move. Okay, bishop f4. It takes with the pawn, obviously. You can always play bishop f6 g7, I guess, but... What am I doing? Again, I've found a way to make this, like... Completely ridiculously unclear for literally no good reason. Let's go King H1. Okay, goes Bishop G5. I did not expect that one. But, uh, actually, Queen D2 allows Knight C4. I've got to be careful. I'm starting to just miss things now. So let's just take. Let's just play classic. Simple, simple classical chess. Good classical principles like Queen F3 and Rook E1 or D1. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually somehow not up a pawn. I thought I was up a pawn. Apparently I'm not. So let's go D Oh my gosh, he's got bishop d6. What am I doing? Yeah. Hmm. I might need to take a break soon, you guys, because now I'm actually starting to really just miss stuff for no reason at all. Let's go rook d1. Okay, so he's trying to get rook e3, I guess. I think I can play, I can play rook d5 here. Maybe, actually, let's go queen d3. Try to trade some queens here. Queen b6 actually looks kind of bad to me. Because now I think I can go bishop d5, and now we're going to see who's, who's laughing here. Because his king is also suddenly going to become really open. 
And also I get rook d2 to cover the whole third rank here, even if he goes to c7 or d6. Isn't... What? Isn't this just game over? Queen f7? Yeah, he so just wonder queen f5. Okay, so he can take... I, th I saw this, but... It's really, really hard for me to believe that he can survive if I... Let's see, okay, if I check King G... King... H8 is forced. Not Queen G5. Let's just take. Because Rook E5, I have Queen G4 check as well. Okay, now I can... I assume I just block with the bishop. Um, he's also got no time, so... He's got no time. He's got no time, and he, he got lucky a few games, so I didn't intentionally just run him over instead of winning on the board. Just to make him more annoyed. I could have I could have won that game on the board, but because he because he got lucky in a previous game, I felt like being annoying there and just running him over instead of winning on the board just to just to annoy him. Let's play knight d5 and d6. Let's play knight b6. Okay, place a4. I think g6 is fine. If a5, just knight d7. E6 takes and knight f6 is fine. Um, bishop g7 is fine. Whatever, let's just play e6. Aha, so he turns down the draw, so let's go d5 here. He's gonna move the bishop, we'll play c5 of course, c3, knight c6. I guess a6 maybe? Okay, so he gives up a pawn here that I can take if I want. I also can play c4. Or do I just take? I think I just... Probably... I just take. Because knight b3, queen h6, I've got rook f8. I think I have to play knight b3 though. Wait a second. Knight a1. Ah, he wants bishop d6 or something? Okay, so... He wants bishop d6. Er... Oh no, he's got bishop c5 even? Ugh. Um, just blunder that completely. <sighs> yeah, just blunder bishop c5. Mm. Oh, he's also got queen a4. What am I even doing? Yeah, what am I even doing now? That's gonna play on just because no reason not to, but completely losing my mind this game. Okay, queen d8. Now he trades, which is interesting, because it's still much better for white, but this is not... This is still better, but this is not clean anymore. Because now I can force the bishops off the board. And now I'm going to get a rook a5, rook a2 pawns. Generally, two knights against a rook is probably the, the least... Um, it's not the it's not the one, the most favorable of the two pieces. Bishop and knight is generally better than two knights. So he takes. Let's play uh, rook b8, hit the pawn. Um, that's just rook b7. Oh, I'm gonna have to charge. Uh, I've got to charge too. One second. Um.
Okay, let's uh, let's go to one. To change the or knight to six. Let's play. Uh, let's go to c two. What's going on here? Let's see. King H6, I guess. What's going on with G2? Um, I guess I'll run in with my king or try to run in. There's probably some mate here for white, I'm guessing. Okay. Probably some mate somewhere here for white, but I don't see it right off. Um... Wait, wait, but I can take, check. Oh, he's just got 93, uh, he's just got 90. Oh, he misses it, uh, it doesn't matter, it's still winning anyway for white. I guess it's just winning anyway for white. Way down on the clock. Wait, what is he doing? Wait, he's completely misplayed this. Um... My mouse getting stuck again. Jeez. Unbelievable. I mean. <sighs> terrible game, terrible game. Somehow I drew that, but terrible, terrible game by both of us. Lid G3, Bishop G2. D3, knight to 2. That was a really, really bad game. G4, knight h4. I don't even know how I drew that because I was completely lost. That, that was probably the first game that I was completely busted in, and probably all the games we've played. Okay, so he does, he plays this d4 nonsense again, so we'll take. Go queen e2. Knight d5 I can take. I still don't want to play e4. Um, I can play knight f3. Don't really want to take. But let's take and just castle. Castle uh, long here. But now I thought there was g5 maybe. Takes up queen g4 check. Takes, I can just take. Okay, plays bishop e5, wow. Um, play knight f3. Uh, do I have sandpaper? No, I don't. But I do have a pretty pretty terrible mouse pad. That, that I will say. Just take. Always, I've got check. I guess he can play queen d7. Go h4. Probably I'll take or play like rook g1. Ah, I blundered this too. Just take. And now I can't really win, unfortunately. I can probably draw this, but. 
Oh, did I just blunder something? I just blundered something again. Let's just play B4, A4 maybe. Guess let's make a check. Guess I'll go rook e8, rook c8, try to do something weird here, try to somehow mate him. I'm sure this doesn't work, but it's worth a shot. Well, maybe I can play a4 here. So let's play a4, try to get really tricky here. Because now I've got check. Oh, but he just goes king d7, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. No, I'm just playing terrible chess. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop in a second, you guys, because now I'm just playing ridiculously bad. Rookie seven. Yeah, I'm just blundering everywhere. Really, really bad stuff. Oh. And also, now I don't have my iPad on the right side. I'll try a few more, like two, three more, and then I'm going to stop. Not, not many more, though, because now I'm just playing terrible chess. And I just played another ridiculously bad move again. Um, okay, I don't know what this is exactly. It takes G6. Mm. I'm gonna go king f7 here. Knight f6, hit the queen. Uh, probably knight h5 in a move or two. It's terrible. What am I doing? Hmm, 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 hmm. Play rookie eight. Probably I'll chuck a pawn or so. I'll chuck something here to try and do get something. Thought here I could just take and go king g8. Not completely lost, luckily, out of the opening, but this is not very good. The queen e7. I think I can still play queen d8. I mean, this guy is just ridiculous. He has like no inspiration in life. He wants to take a draw here in a much better position. Okay, I can play knight d5 or queen c5. Rook f8, knight e4 doesn't look right. Um, If I go 97, I think I'm still okay. Okay, so probably he'll play 94. Uh, ah, let's go rook c8. c3, probably I'll play knight b6. Yeah, I'll go knight b6, idea knight c4, idea knight a4, probably. And he doesn't have a he doesn't have knight c5 here. Can play e5. I'm playing knight c4 again. I think he wants, he desperately is going to try to make a draw, so I'm going to try to just keep all the pieces on the board here. Okay, knight g5. Then knight f6. What are we doing? Rook d6 now is annoying. Or rook f4 even. Maybe. c5. h6, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, I also had Rook F5 there. Probably I should have played Rook F5 instead. Go rook d5, try to take the d file. Mm, let's make a check. Go e5, put the pawn on a better square. It isn't a it will eventually become a pass pawn, hopefully. Or not. Well, we'll see. Go h5. It's gonna be kind of hard to win this. Probably this is just gonna be a draw. Although he plays b4. So I don't know if he's going to try it, or he's just going to make a draw here. Okay. So what do he wants? Rook c64? Whatever, let's go for it. If it, if he can get away with it, he can get away with it. Let's play e4. I think e3 maybe. It's getting a little bit tricky. Okay, but now I take, I guess it's still just a draw. I mean, I'll, I'll try to, let's. Gosh, this guy just. Oh, did I just blunder a pawn too? I just blundered the pawn, what am I doing? Also, just a draw, unfortunately. There we go. Much better, much better. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so let's play bishop b2, let's play d4. Uh, let's play bishop d3. Let's play queen d3, let's castle. Knight d4, bishop d4, uh, I'll play c4, knight d2 first maybe is better, but shouldn't make a big difference. Maybe there's an a7 pawn lurking to be had, but I, I don't really feel like it's right at the moment. Okay, now he's giving me the pawn. Okay, I can't resist. If I lose Bobby style, then I lose. But if this is good enough for Bobby, then it's got to be good enough for me. Or not. Does he have... Ah, shoot, he's got some trick. Unreal, because on bishop d4, he can take with the d-pawn. <laughs> Unbelievable. c3. Eh, let's go for it anyway, let's see. Okay, we're gonna take and play knight e4. This is my this is this is what I saw when I played Queen e2. So maybe it's nothing, but I figure I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get two clean queenside pawns here, which should be very dangerous. Okay, it takes like this. Okay, and if we take So I've got two pawns, I've got a queen and two pawns for a rook. A rook knight bishop rook a bishop and a knight so it's roughly even material but i think if i can get these pawns going at all this should be winning okay so rook c8 i can play g3 rook c2 could be a problem question is how to play this okay queen b7 rook c1 
I just lose. G3 doesn't look right. H3 looks play out. Wait, H3? I think H3 looks right. If Rook C1, I just trade. I mean, we'll see what he's got here. I've also have Queen B7. Queen B7 is what I'm banking on to hit the Bishop and the Knight. Okay, it does this one. Wow. This one I didn't think could realistically be okay for Black because he's going to end up with a very passive Bishop. So let's make a check. Now do I play B4? I assume I play A4. Unless he gets some mating ideas here, I don't really see how this can work, okay? A5. Knight e4, king f3, king e2. He does not have bishop d6 because he's still pinned. So we're going to see, but I think this pawn should be too fast. I can. Oh, wait, no, he's got rook a2. Ah, he's got rook a2. Shoot. If I go queen e8. Let's hope I'm not blundering a mate here or something stupid. Check, king f4 looks okay. I think king... h6, h4 is my idea, I think. Whoa, 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 don't pre-move h5, whoa. He's gonna play knight f7, I'm gonna play b4, of course. He's gonna play like rook a4 and then I'm gonna move my king. Because if rook b4, I still get a6. And now the rook and the knight are both in trouble here, okay? Um, I think I just go a6 here. Because he doesn't have rook a4 because I cut the square and I cut the other square. So he just blundered. I don't see his tricks here. I don't see how he stops me from making a queen. Yeah, so what? Check king h2, king g1. You've got nothing, pal. Wait, the rook on a4 is hanging? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I missed a free rook. It doesn't matter, but oh dear. Uh. Uh, that's not good. Terrible game, but whatever. I'll take it. Okay, we're, we're starting to turn around. Two in a row. Let's let's keep the let's keep let's keep the uh, heat on him. Let's play d5. Let's take with the queen. Play another bizarre Scandinavian. Let's play g6, bishop g7. And let's just play e6. This is obviously just better for white, but it's a game. Okay, I'll play b6, bishop b7, or bishop a6. Uh, thank you to W. Torzvik for the uh, three months. Thank you so much. I'll play queen c7, just like rook d8, of course. Probably c5 at some point. Maybe not quite yet. Let's play rook e8. Now I'll go knight e5, and I, I was going to go c5, but I maybe it it's no good. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I, I feel like I gotta go for it anyway. Takes, I think, knight c5 or knight e5. Actually, knight e5, knight f3 makes sense. Takes cd4, maybe. It's, I don't know if it works, but it looks like it should be a move. Why do I click again after I move the piece? I click, 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 click. That's why.
Hmm, let's skip ahead. Okay, plays it like this, okay. Um, now I can play e5 maybe here. This is getting a little bit weird though. If I play e5, f4, e4 or something, I don't know what's going on. So I'm not gonna risk like making a, a terrible blunder here. Okay, rook d7, I'll play rook d4. I assume rook d4? No, he takes. Interesting. Okay, so we'll take. Let's play uh, like a5 to fix the pawns. Go knight to seven, knight to five, of course. Not too worried about an h5 pushing an end game like this. So let's just go. Um... I guess I'll play h5. Why not? No reason not to. Probably knight to seven, knight to five at some point is my idea. Okay, now we'll go knight d7, rook c5, knight f6. Definitely gonna put a rook on c5 here. If rook d6, I think b5 is an idea here. He plays a4, which I think is very uh, bold. Because now he's fixed the pawn, so if I can get the knight to c5 or a knight to f5, look at, the, look at these Swiss cheese holes on f5 and c5 here. Um, this should be quite good for me. Let's play rook c8. Just got to make sure not to blunder some c5 or some b4 here. Okay. Um, now we'll take and go knight d7 and put a knight on c5. Thank you, Ims Houghton, for the, uh, for the four months. Thank you so much. Oh, did I just blunder b4? I just blundered b4. Jeez. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Just blundered b4 for no good reason at all. Maybe it's not so bad, but I just blundered b4 is insane. Though now I get knight c5, maybe. Blundered. Blunder my blunder my man. Fort Town. Three in a row, you guys are starting to turn it around. Three in a row, let's keep it going. Play e3. Um, I can play f4, but I think I'll just play a3. Now, however, I will play f4. I can take, play g5, fix the pawn structure so that like, if he ever goes e5, this is brutal. If he goes d4, I go e4. I also have h4 for max protection here. Okay, I think I'll just play e4 with e5. I think. Oh wait, but he's got, ah uh, shoot, he's got b5. What am I doing? Let's go h4. Takes, I'll play knight, knight c4. Now I get bishop f4 with the temp b after b5. So I get finished development, whereas before after b5, I would have had to move the knight away. Max protection, indeed, indeed, let's take. I don't know, I guess he has to play something to e5 here. No, he doesn't. Okay, interesting. This looks a dubious though. Let's put knight d6. And e5 is coming if he doesn't take. I think he has to take. Okay, so he just chucks an exchange. Very uh, Armenian. Armenia exchange sacrifice is very much in the style of Tigran Petrosian. So let's play a4. Now we fix the structure. No c4. Bishop h3. Queen, queen e2 is coming. Play queen d2. Queen f4 idea. Put pressure on the queen. Pressure on the pawn. I guess I'll just go king g2 again. 
really in no rush here. I can just slow play it. Just double the rooks. Because the whole queen side is completely stuck. Which is why a4, b3 was so important. It was just basically just fix this structure so he never has c4. And without c4, I can just concentrate on the uh, king side. Plays f6, wow. Um... I guess just rook f2. Let's take. Uh, this is not going to work out well. He's getting mated on the h file now. I think rook f1 is just winning. gh4, queen c7 looks crushing. Knight d8. Okay, so I can take. But you know what? I, I feel like being really masochistic here, so I'm gonna go bishop c4 and just say, you know what, bro? You've got a nice little awful king here. Have fun. Have at it, my friend. Because now I can't go king f8 because of e6 as well. Let's see. Okay, I can play e6, of course, but let's let's just take the pawn. I'm 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 gonna be a real masochist here and just play king king h3 and say you know what you still can't touch anything here my friend. Okay now I think e6 is just winning though. King g2 and king g1 and it's game over. How come I'm still in St. Louis? Isn't the tournament over? I'm still in St. Louis because um because I'm playing the 960 which starts in two days. Let's play d5 queen d5 knight f6. Good g6, bishop g7 again. I got a good position last game. Let's 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 just do it again. Um, okay, let's play e6, knight d7, of course. I think c5 again looks okay. Takes just queen d7. I should play in the Florida State Championship. It's for um, it's for all ages and it's to Palm Beach, so it's not too far from Miami. I'm gonna assume that's a bad joke, um, but very, very funny. Thank you, Ganic Chess, for the raid with 87 people. Thanks so much. All right, we've got enough battery on my iPad, so now I can just um, flip this around. Okay, Rook FD1, so I guess Bishop C6 makes sense. Just dominate the knight, control the squares, play Rook B8 next move, maybe. Maybe even just rook fc8 or rook ac8. Wow, okay, so he's willing to take double pawns. Interesting. Let's go knight h5, knight f4. This might be a mistake, though, because I just gave him d7. Of course, he doesn't miss it. Um, yeah, that was a bad move. Well, maybe I can just play knight f6 and say, you know what, I'll tickle your rook. If you go here, I just tickle. Let's just play tickle, tickle. And it should still be a draw, because now I just say rook c8. Thank you, Abandon Rich, for the eight months. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess I'll go King F8. King, ah, I gave him Rook D6, though. B8, though. I feel like I'm being a little bit imprecise in my approach this game, but maybe I can still salvage it. Uh, maybe just Rook B7, Rook C7. If I ever get knight h5, g5, knight f4, and I'm going to be doing very, very well. Okay. Oh, he wants rook a6. Okay, so now, now he's trying to get very chippy with rook a6. If I play knight g7, rook a6, I have nothing good. Let's play a5. Okay, now I'm going to go for it with knight h5, knight f4. Okay. Do I check or do I? I think I play knight h5, knight f4. The very worst case, I think I might. I probably have a draw here with knight g2 and knight f4 back. Okay, so now for sure I have a draw of knight g2, knight f3. Okay, let's play the tickle game. I don't think I've got anything better here. F3, nah, nah, it's just a draw. Not great, but that game I was that game I was definitely losing, so I can live with that. Now I just 
gotta start pounding him like another five in a row. That game I was probably losing very briefly for like a move or two, so I can live with that. Play d3. We're gonna have more, more of the same same thing. This guy doesn't realize that the structure is just bad. He keeps playing the same thing. Weirdly enough. Um, let's have some fun. I haven't actually gambited anything, so let's have some fun and gambit. Wow, okay, that I did not expect, however. Um, hmm, knight c4, maybe? I guess, actually, I should always just take. Just get rid of this trick. Thank you, Agent Jail, for the nine months. Okay, so now I've got to decide e4, knight b3. b5 is also very interesting. Maybe just... I'll just play queen e2. Just stay true to the gambit style here and just not give in. Okay, we've actually had this before, I think, or very similar to this. Okay, so he goes f5, I guess he wants fg4. I can't really take, so I give f4. Knight b3 looks... I don't really know what's going on, so let's play knight b3 here. I don't really have time to think forever either, so... Um, yeah, the bathroom gambit game kind of started the down, downward spiral a little bit. Without that, I think... Because he still wants me to take, I'm obviously not going to take. Um, scam likely. Always good to get those phone calls as well. Um, what am I doing here? I guess... Uh, Let's take with the knight. Let's force him to do something here. Okay, so he takes so I can... Take... Yeah, I have to take... I guess I'm going to play c4 here or something. I think I'm just going to play c4 and bishop f3 and d4. It's going to be a very weird game, weird game here. So we'll see what happens. So I've got two bishops... An open, most importantly, though, I'm going to get an open B file to play on, I think, after knight f6. Knight f6, rook b1 looks really, really good for me. Okay, rook b1, of course. Put pressure on the diagonal. I mean, he's probably going to have to go for some g5 or something to try and salvage this. Feels like this should be very good for white, but maybe it's nothing. Knight h5, okay. That's probably a good move. If I play queen h2... But does he have queen g3, king h1? Who knows what's going on here. So it's deep in the tank here. Goes king c8, which is actually a move that makes me very happy. So I thought now I could just play like d4 and just claim an edge. Um, thank you so much to uh, move 11 for the five bucks. Thank you so much. Okay, so king h1, of course. Actually, maybe I was supposed to take. Why didn't I just take? Well, okay, if he's going to trade, then this, this has to be good for white. Rook g1, pressure on the pawns. I can always put this rook on f1 and bishop c3. I can also play, I, I'm just going to go rook f1. Maybe rook g3, bishop c3 at the right moment. The two bishops really should be much better than the knights here. It's just bishop e2, support the pawn. I'm going to kick him next move. Okay, what is this? He wants to go to d2 or something? So what? Go to e1 bishop d3 i'm just going to try to say these knights aren't really going anywhere and i can push them back okay g5 is a logical move play bishop d3 okay i think rook f7 looks fine oh shoot did i just blunder Still probably better, but this is not what I was hoping for at all. 
Okay, now I can take. Um, I guess let's just take. Keep his king pass if you're cut off on the seventh. Uh, let's go. Bishop g4 maybe. Oh, did oh I didn't even see knight a3. What am I doing? This must be winning though. Although it's not clear because he's still got knight f1. Oh my gosh. Let's go rook f3. It's got a okay. Why did I do this? Okay, and there we go. Not good, but it's still winning. All right, there we go, next game. <clears throat> Let's stick to C6 since it's been working relatively well the last few games. So he's probably gonna try to attack here, I guess. Yeah, he is gonna try to attack. Let's go bishop f5. Bishop d3, let's trade, we'll go knight d7. Queen c7. Guess maybe just rook f8 and e5 makes a lot of sense here. Um, I can play e5, e4, and eh, let's just go for it, because why not? Let's play e4. If d6, I think I've got ef3, fg2, I've also got queen a5, queen knight d4, I think knight c5 looks quite attractive. If d6, always just queen d7. Probably I'll sack some material, h4, h5, of course. Okay, so I've got queen e5 here, I think. Yeah, and if DC six, I think I play knight g four first. If takes, I think queen f six hits the pawn, hits this fork town, knight pawn. Although actually, after knight d four, I still can't take because then rook f one, knight b four, this is queen f two. This e pawn also is going to be very strong here. Fuck! This, oddly enough, is not as easy as it looks, though, on first glance. So I guess I'll. Thank you, Chespay, for getting a sub to Lionel. Thank you so much. Uh, let's play Rook B8. Definitely want to force one knight off the board. I figure here this pass pawn's got to be really strong. Play rookie four and e2, I guess. Maybe just rookie three, hit the pawn. This, I think, is a mistake, because now I cut him off, and he can never move the knight or the rook. I guess... Let's see. Rook e5, b4. Let's play a5. Okay, now this has to be winning. Just a question of how. Maybe just rook b7. And now if king d2, I just take the pawn. If c6, just rook c b6, I guess, is winning. Okay, rook b6 or rook c7. Mm. Hmm. King d2, rook e6. Okay. 
Okay, Rook C8. Okay, now we just to uh, make a couple of precise moves like Rook A4. Knight B5, Rook B4, game over. Um, maybe Rook B1, Rook C1 idea. Now we just go back down, try again to collect the pawn. Okay, now a3 wins rook c1, also wins, but let's just go a3. Or maybe, actually no, let's, let's just not mess, mess around, let's just... Wait, what am I doing actually? No, that's just winning, okay. Um, knight d6, rook c1. If rook a3, I always have rook b5. If I can see it. Oh, let's just take and play h3. This is just winning h2 next move. Really made made a mess out of this for no good reason. Oh my gosh, I just blunder, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. What am I doing? What is Rook H8? Ugh. Ugh, so gross. Oof, disgusting. That was disgustingly bad. What was Rook H8? That was so stupid. If I just, I, Pawn was on A3 or A2? I think the Pawn was on A3. A2, wasn't it? Pawn was on A2. That was just so bad. I could have made a queen, I think. The pawn was on A3 or A... Pawn was on A2, right? Pawn was on A2, yeah. That was just... I could have made a queen. Wasn't thinking. Yeah, the pawn was on A2, so it was just completely winning. Uh, let's just trade, play rook c1, maybe queen b3, d5 at some point. Okay, knight a5 doesn't really appear to do much. I'll just play queen b1, d5, c5 ideas. Knight looks pretty stupid on a5. Um, mm, d5 is begging to be played. Yeah, I can't resist, because if he takes, he loses the bishop. Okay, bishop c5 I saw, I thought I could play bishop e5, or take, or bishop c3, a lot of options here. Okay, I can't take. Let's play bishop e5 to hit the queen. Now I can take and take e6. And again, I do have to use the rush room naturally. So I've got knight e4, bishop c3. I also have bishop, wait, bishop f6. Wait, 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 bishop f6, gf6 is a problem. Um, uh, bishop f6, gf6. Queen 
And I'm, I'm too low on the clock here. I can't run to the restroom. Knight c6. Guess I'll just take. Knight e4, I guess, to hit the bishop and hit the pawn. Gotta go to e7 and then I take e7. Thank you, Underdog S, for the six months. Thank you so much. Um. Take. <laughs> Let's just take the pawn. Keep pressure on both rooks so he doesn't get rook b2 here. Okay, uh, I guess queen g3 is fine. This is so annoying. Uh, that was oh, I also G three, maybe. F5, just knight g5 is good. Um, uh, thank you, the band and castle wagon, for the gifted subs. Ugh. Let's just uh, check. I put the rook, that's the wrong square anyway. What am I doing? Use the restroom, I can't, ah, can't focus. All right, you guys, I do have to run the rush. I'll be right back.